Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have an update for the Edge web browser for desktop, which was made available on the 24th of March. So that was a day or so ago, but nonetheless, um, this is quite an important update because uh, it includes the security fixes from the Chromium project, as I have been posting on over the last week or so. And the big one with this, if you haven't heard, is that it now includes a default option to disable the Bing icon in the top right of the toolbar and um, that's according to user feedback because um, there's been a lot of um, negative uh, feedback that users want Microsoft and did want Microsoft to roll out an option to remove this button and up until recently the only way to remove it was to use registry hacks and also um, flags which I have been posting on um, over the last um, couple of weeks on the channel now we get an actual option to um, remove the feature which I think is a nice move in the right direction. So first of all if you'd like to know how to remove and disable the Bing icon it's quite simple because it is a default setting now. We just head to the menu in the top right, head down to settings, navigate over to sidebar and I actually posted on this setting when it was still in preview in Edge Canary and Microsoft has basically been quite quick off the mark with, with this one to roll it out to the stable version and you just click on discover and now you'll see show discover when not shown the sidebar is only accessible if always show sidebar is turned on toggle that off and there we go the Bing icon now is finally has finally been removed and um, Microsoft has made that quite easy now if you do not want the feature in the browser and um, if you want the sidebar to remain but want the Bing icon to be removed um, you just head back to the sidebar page and yeah you'll see a setting always show sidebar so although the Bing button has been removed you will also have access to your sidebar features which I actually think is also a um, useful uh, feature and if you want to put everything back to how it was you head back to um, your sidebar and you just head back to discover and you toggle that back on and then you'd have to head back to your main sidebar settings toggle that off and if you head back you can see now that everything is working once again if you hover over the Bing icon so as mentioned nice move now we can actually um, remove that without having to resort to extreme methods using flags and registry hacks. Now with that out of the way, um, Microsoft has also rolled out very important security updates. So uh, to double check if your browser is up to date because it is your first line of defense, uh, we head back to the menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge as many of you would know and this will force the update if it hasn't done so already to Edge version 111.0.1661 Point fifty-four. It's actually just a point release from um, a point fifty-one to point fifty-four, but nonetheless uh, is very important because it does include um, non-security fixes. And out of those non-security fixes, two are edge-specific. So two are security fixes for the actual Edge web browser, and then seven are Chromium-based. And those are the more or less the same security fixes I have been posting on over the last week, which first of all rolled out to Edge, uh, sorry, to Google Chrome, and now I've made their way to Microsoft Edge. So non-security fixes, two edge-specific, seven Chromium-based. So double check your browser is up to date because it is your first line of defense. And then over and above that, I'm not noticing any new features except one, which is a workspace menu in the top left which I'm going to post on in another video because that's quite an in-depth video just on itself but nonetheless um, uh, we'll go through that in a future video but um, over and above being able to remove the Bing shortcut get those security fixes we now also get a workspace menu which as mentioned we'll look at in an up-and-coming video so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one